In the last video, we made sure that we could spawn our monster, that they could move from the portal uh, in the top left corner here, all the way down to the red portal right there. But right now, there's a problem because when our monsters reach the red portal, they will simply just stop at the portal and just stand there and idle or stand there and try to move. Um, and we're not interested in that. We would like them to despawn when they hit the portal. So um, we will actually have to make the same effect as we have up here when we spawn our monsters because right now when we spawn them they are small and they get large and and move out and we'll have to do the reverse thing down here right so when they hit the portal they will shrink down to no size and then get destroyed and then later we will implement an object pool to reuse the monsters but for now we'll just destroy them so we have to go to our monster script and of course i click the level manager <laughs> let's see here that's the level manager. Let's go to the monster here. There we go. And in here we'll have to make some extra code because right now we're not checking if we hit the red portal. So we have to make an untrigger enter and we have to add some components in our in our game so that we can actually check if we are uh, colliding with something. But first of all, let's make a private. Private. I can't hit paradigm too far out. Nope. There we go, private void on trigger, enter 2D. And this one is taking in a collider, 2D other. Okay. So we have a on trigger enter 2D. And every time we hit something, we are recognizing whatever we hit with um, other the, the other variable here. Okay, so we have to say if other dot tag equals red portal so if we hit the red portal then we need to do something specific so let's just save this and jump into unity and then select our prefabs and inside the prefabs we have portals and here we have the red portal so let's just make sure that it has the tag as you can see here we are asking for a red portal tag and we don't have that so let's go to tags add tag click the plus and then write red portal and then go back to the prefabs select your portal red portal and make sure it has the new red portal tag you just created okay when it has the tag we will be able to recognize if we have a collision right so if other the tag is red portal well then we have a collision and we need to do something so what do we need to do well first of all we need to check if the collision works so let's make a debug lock I'm colliding okay so this code should be triggered but we need to do something first of all we will have to add a collider to our red portal so you select the red portal click add component and write box and then you select the box collider 2d and right now we are using on trigger enter 2d which means that we are looking for a trigger in both ways actually um, so both the monster and the portal should be a trigger. The portal didn't need to, but let's just make it into a trigger. So is trigger will just be checked here. Okay. On the other hand, if we go to our monsters, we can select all of them. Hold, go to your monsters prefab. Hold shift down, select all of them. Click add component, and add a box collider 2D, and check is trigger. There we go. Okay. So. Um, if you run this code now, we might not be able to see this because I think we actually have to add a rigid body to our um, our monsters to be able to trigger this on trigger to on, on trigger enter 2D. Let's see, nothing should actually happen now when we we do this. We can try to pause. I can show you now that my blue monster, maybe it's hard to see in the video, has a collider on it, and my red portal right here also has a collider around it. Maybe see if I delete these around it. You can see there's like a collide around it. Yeah. So if I run this, let's see. Yeah, nothing happens. So to make this trigger, we will also have to select all our monsters like so. Click add component and write rigid, rigid body, and then add a rigid body 2D. Just gonna move this up so you can see it. Ah, I click move down again, move up and move up what move up 
move up. There we go. <laughs> Apparently I'm very bad at clicking. We have this rigid body 2D and we need to set the gravity scale to zero so it doesn't fall. If we don't do this, then our character, or our monster will fall down as you can see here. And that is not intended at all. So let's remove the gravity scale. Let's just set it to zero here. So we have the rigid body on it. Um, and let's try one more time to see if something is written in the console when we do this little collision check. Maybe I should have moved this portal closer and so I didn't have to wait for this one to run all the way over the field. It's actually a waste of time. But anyway, I'm too lazy to move it, so let's just wait. And there we go. I am colliding. It's right written now. So now we are 100% sure that our collision works. Okay, so we can just delete this line of code again. So what do we have to do? Well, we actually have to scale our object and we actually already have that. If we go to the top here, we have a function called scale. Okay, so basically we can make it scale by saying start coroutine scale new vector free. And what do we need to do? Well, we need to give it, let's see what it actually wants. The scale it scales from. Well, it scales from new vector free 1.1 because it's like once uh, both ways. And then we need to scale to new vector free 0.1f comma 0.1f. Okay, so we need to scale from the normal scale, which is one down to 0.1 because it's the opposite direction of what we do when we spawn, because when we spawn, um, I assume way too much in here. When we spawn, we do the opposite, right? We scale from 0 0.1 to 1. And when we despawn, we scale from 1.1 to 0 0.1. So we go small again, right? So let's try to save this and go back in here. Play. And let's wait for this long, long run, of course. And he hits and he gets small. But as you can see, there's a problem here. He keeps getting small and he got out of it and everything got large again. Um, and he got small way too early. So what do we need to do? Well, we actually need to make sure that he doesn't despawn before he hits the actual portal. So to do this, we can select all our monsters and try to do the one first so you can see what actually happens. Take the blue monster out. We go close to it. You will see that there's a trigger around it a collider around it and when that collider hits the portal it will start despawning and the problem is that if we play the game you'll see that this collider will actually hit the portal collider before it's actually there so it will actually hit the portal collider right here with this position and start descaling because it's way too far away so to fix this we will simply have to make this collider smaller and the values we should use for this um, would be like this. S um, the size would be 0 0.14 and 0 0.14, for example. Now you'll see that the collider is way smaller and that's totally fine. We don't need them to have a large collider because when they hit here, it's, it's okay for the monsters to have this small collider. So actually we can just delete the blue monster there, select all of them and go to the collider, box collider, and say the size is 0 point, maybe 15, 0 0.15 on all of them. So now they all have this small collider, which means that whenever the monster move, uh, when, when the monster gets to the portal, he will actually, um, he, he will actually move, uh, get, get descaled way right later. You can also just set the speed up actually. It's a five. Okay, that didn't work because now I s scale it wrong, I guess. Let's see here. Red monster, 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Let's, let's just try with normal speed. Sorry about that. Let's see what happens when he has the normal speed. Okay, so you'll see he still despawns out here. So the problem is actually not the size of the collider. That was also part of the problem. But some of the uh, some other problem is the fact that 
we are doing something in scale i think let's see here just remembered yeah we are setting active to false so if it isn't false it's not moving and that's the problem right because when it hits then it stops moving and when it starts to scale it stops moving so we have a problem there so actually you can just remove this line of code that says it's active to false um let's see let's see when we said it's true there yeah that's totally fine so let's try to save this and if we run the game again and run it let's see when he gets down there and now you see it looks like he runs into the portal right because he keeps moving when he starts despawning or descaling actually so this makes more more kind of what should i say realistic or something so it, it looks better at least it looks more like the monster is actually running into the portal and um, disappearing into the portal but it still exists as you can see they're not despawning or anything we're just making them way smaller right now so we need to do something so that they actually disappears instead of just getting small uh, when walking into the portal here so to do that we can simply go to function here the scale function and inside the scale function we can make a new parameter pool as a pool call a remove right so if remove is true then we simply say destroy game object and then it should complain and tell you that you're not giving in the right arguments so when you spawn the monster remove should be false because it shouldn't be removed but when we actually despawn the monster remove should be true and later we are going to use the um, object pool as i said but right now we're just destroying it so if we save and go back here let's try to run it one more time see then the monster should be destroyed when they actually hit the hit the portal here As you can see now it looks more like they're actually disappearing into the portal so they're actually going through the portal here as you can see yes. so now the monsters are disappearing into our portal so that's actually what i wanted to do in this video um in the next video i think we will add some more animations to the portal so when the monsters hit the portal it will actually make an animation so it looks better um, so it looks better when they actually enter the portal so it looks like it opens up for the monster to go through it so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like my facebook page and follow me on twitter also don't forget that inscope studio is a community founder page so all your support is very important to me and you can support me in different ways you can go to the patreon page and support me there and if you do so you can get every single project that i've created from my youtube channel uh, and that means all the assets and code files and everything you can just go there and download it uh, or you can support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone product and you can do that in the description below or by clicking the link in the bottom of the screen so thank you very much for watching